The vast cosmos has been the center of humanity's fascination for as long as we have existed upon Earth. We have always sought to reach the stars, to achieve the unachievable, and to expand our realm of existence onto other planets. That is still the case today, perhaps more than ever. With the contribution of NASA and other international space organizations that fund cosmic research. Who knows, perhaps in the near future we will be able to fulfill what our predecessors believed to be a thing of fiction and colonize other parts of space. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three cosmic NASA-based discoveries. Mystery Object Keeps Orbiting Our Planet In September of 2002, an odd object was first seen orbiting Earth. The strange object is at best 60 feet long with a rotation speed of an estimated 60 seconds. The first man to see it was Bill Yoon, a fledgling astronomer who saw it on September 3rd and dubbed it J002E3. Because it was unseen by automated asteroid surveys, it is believed that the object newly entered orbit in September of 2002, according to NASA's scientist Paul Chodas, who claims they would have caught it if it was in orbit before then. According to Chodas, the object does not match any spacecraft sent into space around that date. Simply put, NASA scientists have no clue as to what this object even is. 10-minute footage of J002E3 was captured by the Schiaparelli Astronomical Observatories, Andrea Aletti, who found it orbiting around the Taurus constellation, with its brightness depending on its rotation. Different images of the object show it in different ways, further baffling researchers. Alien enthusiasts claim it must be a UFO, though the rise in alien speculations was commented upon Chodas, who refuted them by stating, if it is an alien spaceship, the aliens aren't good pilots. J002E3 is in a chaotic orbit. It loops around Earth once every 48 days or so, coming as close to our planet as the Moon and ranging as far as two lunar distances. Unfortunately for alien theorists, there is a lack of evidence to suggest that J002E3 is moving with a personal power. It seems to move due to orbital gravity caused by the Sun and Moon. Bill Jung initially believed that the object was a tiny asteroid, a perfectly sound guess as most objects that pass Earth tend to be meteoric in nature, and it moved at an asteroid's average pace. Jung even considered the concept of Earth having caught a new asteroid moon, as other planets in our solar system have been known to do. This idea was crushed when the paint was revealed. Astronomers found traces of colors that aligned with the same paint NASA used for Apollo rockets 50 years ago in the 1970s. This discovery suggested the object is in fact an old Apollo rocket journeying through our solar system, but that brings to question what it was doing for 50 years. Trodus believes the rocket was orbiting the Sun, saying, I've traced the motion of J002E3 backwards in time to find out where it's been. I've never seen anything like this. According to Chodas's researcher, it was sent into space in 1971 and circled the Sun over 30 times before coming back into Earth's orbit. The problem? No pieces of the Apollo 14, which J002E3 was initially believed to be part of, were missing. When Chodas investigated the Apollo 14 mission, every part of the rocket was either returned to Earth or landed purposefully on the Moon such as Apollo 14's SIVB, which landed on the Moon with the hope of monitoring lunar seismic activity. The strange object could not possibly then be a missing Apollo 14 piece. Chodas stated, There is an outside chance that it might be one of the spacecraft lunar module adapter SLA panels, although J002E3 appears to be too bright for one of those. Alternatively, could this be the SIIVB of Apollo 12 of 1969? It is believed that the SIVB engine was turned on when the rocket was low on fuel, but it burned for too long and instead of circling the Sun, it ended up in a volatile orbit between the Earth and Moon, much akin to what happened with J002E3 decades later. Chodas indicated that it would likely leave Earth's orbit and in June of 2003, it did. 
Alas, it is not lost just yet and is bound to return to Earth's orbit around the 2040s. Currently, it is circling our solar system on a galactic journey. By then, it is probable that humans might be able to go as far as to truly see what J002E3 is, a mystery still unknown to us to this day. Even though the Apollo 12 SIVB is the leading theory during interstellar travels as we expand our reign to other places in our solar system. NASA recently created artificial glowing clouds. NASA revealed their new equipment, the Super Soaker mission, meant to create glowing clouds, using a mini rocket they fired into Earth's upper atmosphere. NASA detonated the rocket which formed artificial clouds called PMCs, or polar mesospheric clouds. These polar mesospheric clouds hold ice crystals in the atmosphere and glow due to their ability to capture sunlight. While they may seem frivolous, they have a greater purpose. The PMCs can assist us in sustaining Earth life. They will also give scientists advanced data into what is happening in our atmosphere. The PMC rocket launched in January from Alaska and reached a height of 53 miles into the air before it was detonated, releasing 485 pounds of water vapor into the skies, cooling the air. It took 18 seconds for NASA detective lasers to catch the glow of the PMCs. The sudden cold temperature is what triggered the glow and certain scientists believe that glowing clouds might be a common occurrence in our future as more satellites are added to the atmosphere. PMCs occasionally occur in nature during the summer months across the Earth's poles, typically at twilight when the sun shines over them. According to physicist Richard Collins at the University of Alaska, what has attracted a lot of interest in these clouds is their sensitivity. They're occurring just on the edge of viability in the upper atmosphere, where it's incredibly dry and incredibly cold. They're a very sensitive indicator of changes in the upper atmosphere, changes in temperature or changes in water vapor. Sending out artificial PMCs into the sky is bound to help us understand microphysics in a brand new light. The rocket was sent up in January precisely because they do not form in the cold months of the year, and so the artificial PMC could not be mistaken for a naturally occurring one. Another space physicist, Irfan Azim, stated, We wanted to make sure to avoid mixing artificially created and naturally occurring PMCs. That way we could be confident that any PMC we observed was attributable to the Super Soaker experiment. NASA discovers first possible planet outside our galaxy. The Milky Way is vast and although we have found countless planets in fellow solar systems, to see beyond the Milky Way is no small feat, but NASA scientists have recently discovered the first potential planet outside of our galaxy. Found in the Whirlpool Galaxy by the Chandra X-ray Observatory, this seems to be the first exoplanet outside of this galaxy that we have ever seen. All other known exoplanets are strictly within our very own Milky Way. It is estimated to be as far as 28 million light-years away, compared with the general 3,000 light-years away most Milky Way exoplanets are from Earth. This discovery could truly be the beginning of a new era for humanity as we begin to observe what was once unobservable. Astrophysicist Roseanne De Stefano claims, We are trying to open up a whole new arena for finding other worlds by searching for planet candidates at X-ray wavelengths a strategy that makes it possible to discover them in other galaxies. Scientists look through X-rays produced by observatories for changes in brightness that typically indicated a neutron star or black hole. Both such things shine on X-rays, making any planets passing them by easier to see. Using this technique lets researchers find planets significantly further away from us. Unfortunately, the suspected Whirlpool Galaxy exoplanet is not yet a confirmed exoplanet. Further research must go into the project before NASA know definitively whether the discovery is true. And due to the incredible distance from us to the Whirlpool Galaxy, it might take over 70 years before we know. The suspected exoplanet has a long orbit and will not cross in front of the brightness binary again for at least seven decades, but even still, it will take timing and precision to capture the evidence, timing which currently we doubt we possess. Because of the uncertainties about how long it takes to orbit, we wouldn't know exactly when to look. 
states Nier Amara of the University of California. Assuming the planet is indeed a planet at all, it is thought it would have had to survive the supernova which formed the neutron star or black hole that signals it out against the X-rays. The star it currently orbits may explode before we have the time to analyze this new prospective planet, and if that occurs, it will be hit with an abundance of radiation. Even if the theories are wrong, it does not change the fact we are finally developing the technology to gradually look past our galaxy and into new ones. The Chandra has datasets for an estimated 20 galaxies other than the Milky Way, and it is without a doubt we are bound to discover non-Milky Way exoplanets sooner or later. Our future is bursting with potential and there is so much to see and research when it comes to the cosmos, and the concept of us expanding into the universe is one brimming with excitement. But what do you make of these NASA discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.